and welcome to the Embassies of Cinema channel. I'm Brian Seaweed. I'm a director and cinematographer. We are located at 3419 West Olive Avenue in Burbank, California, or visit us online at www.embassiesofcinema.com. Today, I am showing you the Canon EOS C300 digital cinema camera. This camera is built to be a major step up from standard DSLR filmmaking. While the 5D Mark II 7D and now the 5D Mark III are excellent filmmaking tools in their own right, they do have a lot of shortcomings and issues which need to be compensated for when on set. So here we have for comparison a bare Canon C300 body and a Canon 5D Mark II. They're actually very similar as you can see in size and they're also very similar in weight. Uh, however, one of the major differences between these two cameras is the professional connections that you get with the Canon C300 that DSLR shooters are missing from the cameras such as the 5D Mark II. Canon DSLR shooters know that the only external monitoring options with the DSLRs are the mini HDMI connections. That issue has been addressed in the C300 where you have a full-size HDMI connection and also a professional BNC HD SDI connection. Uh, either of these will give you a full 1080p 422 image out, whereas with the 5D Mark II, while you do get a 1080p playback, you only get a 480p squeezed image while shooting. However, with the Canon C300, you have a clean 422 uncompressed 1080p image coming out of either your HDMI or your HD SDI. So you can record uh, onto an external recorder such as the Blackmagic Shuttle or the Atomos Samurai. And you can record uncompressed HD 422 uh, in ProRes or uncompressed depending on your recorder. Another major difference and significant advantage that the C300 has over DSLR shooting is important body controls of camera features. The C300 is designed to be a professional motion imaging device and in such has plenty of body controls on the left side of the camera. You can see here you have your magnify for focus assist, you have peaking controls, you have zebra controls, and you have your waveform controls right here on the camera body as well as your ND filter controls. Uh, you also have headphone volume, you have your custom picture profile controls, status, and display info right on the side of the body there. Other controls on the left side of the camera body include two wheels, one for menu selection, the other for iris control of your EF lenses. Uh, you also have your camera power switch, which can be taken to media, camera on, or the locked position, which then disables all of your on-camera body controls. So you can see here that this is a camera that is built to be the next evolution of DSLR filmmaking with its professional controls, features, and specifications. Finally, here we have a real camera. So while this is the bare bones camera body of the C300, the package actually comes with accessories such as a side handle, a top handle, and an external monitor module with XLR inputs. So the first accessory we'll put on is the side handle grip, which screws on here. There's a small connector, 1 8 inch connector, that fits right inside this receptacle here. When you push it in, you just want to make sure that you feel that click. Good. And then once you've got that, just fit it in and screw it right on. On the handle, you have your start-stop controls. You also have a wheel for iris function. And on the back, there is a joystick control for controlling the menu. And there's also a user assignable thumb button uh, that the default setting is set to magnify for your focus assist. The top handle fits right on the hot shoe on top of the C300. Slides right on, screws down, and once in place, very, very secure. 
uh, and gives nice balance when you have a lens attached. Top handle also has two cold shoe adapters as well as an accessory port. And finally, we have the external monitor module and XLR connections. And has two cables which plugs into the back of the camera here. You'll see EXT1, EXT2, and the cables are actually labeled one and two, so you know which ones go where. Canon has actually released two different models of the C300, and the only difference between the two is your lens mount option. Uh, the Canon C300PL has a PL mount, and this model, which is a Canon C300EF, which has the EF mount that is the standard Canon mount. Uh, with this mount, you can use any of Canon's EF mount lenses. You can use primes, zooms, whether they're L-series or EFS mount. will all fit on the C300EF. The Canon C300EF mount is not like an adapter. It's a real Canon mount with electronic contacts and communication. Uh, it allows the camera to read the focal length uh, and read the iris and store that information in the metadata. Let me put a lens on. You can see some of the abilities of the mount. This is a Canon 85mm f1.2 L-series prime lens. Uh, one of the interesting things about this lens is the focus ring is only works if it's powered. So since this is a real Canon mount that offers the, the power and communication, once we turn the camera on, then we get active focus control in the lens, which is not possible with this type of lens on a dumb adapter or regular EF adapter. You can also use some of the specialty lenses not available to any other camera system, such as Canon's 24mm tilt shift lens or even one of its fisheye lenses, which gives you very unique looks that you're not really easily capable of getting on any PL mount camera. So here we have the C300 uh, monitor module uh, with your image here and your monitor controls and also your audio controls right here. You have dual XLR inputs, records two channels of uh, linear PCM uncompressed sound. Uh, here you have your monitor which gives you your image and your information. You can see that you have your uh, battery life uh, told to you by the minute. You also have uh, your time left on your CF cards told you by the minute. You have focal length. Uh, you have all your standard lens controls, your ISO, your shutter speed. Over here you have your time code. Then you have your codec settings. Uh, the camera records a maximum of 50 megabit per second, 1920 by 1080. Uh, codec, which is a broadcast approved uh, codec. One of the bigger differences with the <clears throat> between the DSLR, the 5D, Mark II, 7D is the menu controls. You have a real menu that gives you access to features and settings not available to you on DSLRs. Uh, you can go in and make custom settings. One of the more interesting ones is, is setting your iris increment, which can be set for half a stop, one third of a stop, which is about the limit that you can get on DSLR. And you also have a fine setting on the C300, which will give you a one eighth stop increment on your EF lenses, which allows for very, very, very precise exposure controls. Now let's talk about price. The Embassy of Cinema C300 EF package goes for $375 a day. Uh, three-day week and one-day weekend prices. Uh, that includes the handles, the monitor and XLR module. It also includes a Zacuto C300 base plate uh, with 12-inch rods. It also includes four 32-gigabyte compact flash cards. 
Uh, also included are the perfect tripod and fluid head setup. This is a Manfrotto 509 HD fluid head with 536 carbon fiber sticks. You also get three Canon BP955 batteries and a Pelican case for storage and safety. Thank you for tuning in to the Embassies of Cinema channel. I'm Brian C. Weed. See you next time.